everybody and welcome to the Belowski Bunch weekend vlog. Today is a like one take Sunday, which is what this is, and we wanted to introduce you to somebody. It's not not in our belly. Yeah, it's not our baby, but um we have a new addition to our family and we've had her for about a week now, two mm -hmm. weeks now. It's a week. A week now, and she's working out wonderfully. Um, we didn't want to commit to anything or telling anybody anything until we obviously were aware if she was going to work out or not. Um, but yeah. Come here, Aspen. Hi. That's Aspen. Come here. Come here. She smells something. <laughs> She's looking for her B A L L. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, I know. Down. This is Aspen. She is a two-year-old German short hair pointer. She is the same age as Kano, and she's a little bit different than he is. She's all brown in the face with a lot more white. Super soft. Yeah, she's probably the softest dog that we have in our house, but she is super okay. energetic, and she's definitely a bird dog. She's just running around the backyard right now. She, yeah, she has definitely more drive than Kano does. Um, so I'm going to over the course of next year, because it's too late for this season, but over the course of the next year, um, try to get her trained. I think I'm going to go do some bird hunting next year, whether it's quail or duck or something. Because um, you can see, like, she just watching her mannerism, she has the drive. She, she wants to, she wants to track. Um, so we're going to try that and see how it works out. If not, then she'll just be a lap dog. And she's very snuggly. She likes to snuggle David. Um, she's like my shadow. Yeah, she's like David's shadow. When she first came into the house, like I didn't feed her. I didn't pet her. I just let David kind of handle her because we I have three dogs <laughs> that follow me around. Like I am their be all to end all. So I needed this dog to be more of his pal. So they kind of just pal around together. When she's not being obsessive about a ball, which we found out that we can't have those out because she's completely antisocial. We'll do nothing except pay attention to the ball. When you first take it away from her, she spends like a good hour looking for another one. And she finds them. We thought we got them all, and she's found like 10 since we thought we got them all. Yeah, we have a lot. Um, David's mom has a ball dog in her house, so she usually gifts us his um, extra balls. Um, that he doesn't want or he won't take and um, so we had a bunch all through the yard but our dogs don't really care unless you're playing fetch with them they don't really care about the ball but um, Aspen is like a hunter extraordinaire right Aspen what's in there my tire this is round and she can sit and she's quick oh no she doesn't care about that it's round, but she wants the ball. Sit. 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 Good girl. See how pretty she is? With her ear flipped? Yeah. She's very sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Not much of a... She's actually a really good catcher. If you throw a ball to her, she gets it. She's about the best in the family. What are you doing? <gasps> what? What is it? What is it? Get it. I'd say she's probably the quickest, too. Yeah, no, she's fast. Much quicker than Kano. She's like, I'm going to chew on this. Well, she's much smaller than him, too. They're about the same height, but she's got a typical pointer build. Do you want to get it? I don't know what to do with it now. Can you bring Kano out here? Yeah. So just... Just in perspective, you guys have seen Kano before, so you can see a lot of people are like, she looks just like Kano, but with them side to side, they don't look anything alike. <laughs> she is definitely more dainty in the face. She's much tinier. Um, so we have, we've got Miss Aspen, no Kano, sit. Sit Kano, good boy. So we've got Kano over here on the, oh, of sit course. Down. He's the hoppy one. So Kano on the right hand side, and then we have Miss. Well, he's on the left now. Oh, well, left hand side, sorry. Stay, at Kano. Stay. Aspen, knock it off. You okay? 
so you can see the difference in the coloring on him. Sit down. He's very excited to get this bumper. But that's Kano. And he's got a stripe on his face and she's solid. And she's more of a milky chocolate color and he's more of like a dark chocolate color. Ready? And he's much more freckly. <laughs> or tickled as GSP owners will call it. And she's definitely more dominant than he is. If she gets a toy, he'll do this where he kind of dances outside of her and just he'll bark at her. And uh, if he happens to get away from her, it doesn't happen very often, but if he does, she, she takes it back pretty quick. But she does pretty good. She's acclimating to the family pretty well. She doesn't give us much trouble. We're actually, um, we have two kennels in our house, two crates in our house, and Kano stays in his kennel. Razor's always been out of a kennel, and then Bertha has been... <laughs> she just got him. You got too close to my toy. <laughs> um, so then Bertha was in a kennel, and then now she's out free roam with Kano. Or with Razor. With Kano, and... Um, oh, I got you, yeah. And Bertha is using her kennel. So both GSPs are kennel trained and the other two are not in kennels. Okay, so as far as them being kenneled, that's what we've chosen to do. Um, we do have four dogs, which is a very hard decision for us to make, at least for me it was. Um, I know Bertha has had, and as you guys know, Bertha has had some medical issues. She does have cancer on her lungs, so we're just not too sure how much longer she is going to be around. So I didn't really want to commit to if something happened to her getting another puppy, which would have been the option. And somebody was giving Aspen away for free to a good home and we wanted to jump on that opportunity. So she fits in our family. She doesn't disrupt anything. She just eats a little extra food. Um, we have a half acre fenced in. So she, they, regardless of how many dogs we have, they have plenty of room to roam and to play and to entertain themselves. Most of the time they're out here playing in the backyard. Kano's in the backyard. She's over there by. I'm trying to go get the bumper that I just hid. Yeah, she's over there entertaining herself. So honestly, our dogs get around just fine, regardless if we have one or four. So um, Bertha pretty much just lays on the couch at home and doesn't really come out unless it's time for food. <laughs> so yeah. um, Aspen is working out wonderfully in our family, and now David has a friend to pal around with. She's my little buddy. Aspen! Anyway, yeah. so David, we will see you guys on um, Man Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.